So we are ready to leave uh, Tregear now. Yes. Finally. Yeah. And now we will start to go to San Malo. And uh, that's a little special for us. We've yeah. never been there, but we have in theory navigated there a lot because yeah. many years ago when we took uh, navigation course, courses yeah, yeah. that's where then uh, yeah the practice charts with the tidal and current and everything where we yeah. had to practice and learn this so it's it great be, yeah it will be good to see it's supposed to be a very picturesque town that was totally bombed out during world war ii but they rebuilt it in old style yeah but i heard it Someone said it's uh, really, really well done, but everything is grey. Is it grey? Oh. I heard. Oh, okay. We will see. Fifty shades of grey then. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. What was his name? Grey, maybe. <laughs> yeah, something grey. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't read it. We haven't read it. We haven't, haven't watched the we? movie. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Oh, have you? <laughs> <laughs> we are about... We are leaving now. Yeah? Yeah, on the way. Leaving. Pantala is in front of us there, and uh, hopefully it will be a really good sail. Maybe quite close to the wind, but good wind and uh, current. One third of the way against us, one third no current, and then we will be flying in the end. Yeah, and this will be really good. And uh, yeah. So th this feels that we are leaving for real now. <laughs> yes. We we have been sailing around Brittany a little bit here, but uh, yeah. But now we're leaving. For good. Maybe one Until day come back, time. but I hope we'll have to can stay away from here. Yeah. I hope the sun will clear up. Uh, yeah. Because you you almost look like when you were sailing in Svalbard there. <laughs> You have your thickest bully hat on. Yes, but it feels like. But that one is new for this year. Yes. And you made it yourself. Yeah. Yes. That's good. Made one for you too. Yes. Here you can have a look at mine. It's really good. And uh, it's nice when it's like this. What did you say? Have they slowed down? Yeah. The boat in front of us, so you had to adjust the speed. We are racing with uh, Pantala or by engine racing. We are going together to San Malu. But this season we also got some cool new glasses we bought in France with blue um, mirror and they are like this, what do you call it? Progressive glasses or bifocal or whatever. So it's nice for us so we can see everything on the plotters and everything. I think we look cool, don't you? I'm not too sure. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it is your bully hat that makes you cool. At least I got mine. Yeah, I uh, just lost uh, my woolly hat. The one I showed you, the nice one that Jeanette gave me. I lost it. Because, yeah, it's a little bit windy here. And, uh, but we are doing really, really good now. are like yeah, so how much wind is this like 20 22 and we are like on a 45 42 wind angle and uh, yeah but doing good speed so we are happy We have a ship coming here, meeting us, and he's like doing 26 knots. And uh, but I guess he has. We're going up winds. I guess he has uh, the wind in the uh, from behind. That's uh, like good for him. But um, I, he don't using sail. And how are you doing there? So, have you decided on the cold route or warm route? Well, I don't know, but I bought a bikini yesterday. Yes, you could did. Have been could that have been a sign? It could be a sign. 
Yeah, but we are also running a little bit late for the cold road. It, it's still possible, but it would be... Very hectic. Yeah, and a lot of sailing and... Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of sailing, we would like to do that, but we also would like to sneak things. And yeah. uh, just sail, sail, sail is not... Anyway. Yeah. So we will... Um, we will see what the winds want us to do as well. Yeah. But we start to Saint Malo and then Jersey, which we've never been. Saint Helier. Yes. And then uh, fueling, and then hopefully we will downwind to Scilly Island. Yeah. So here comes uh, TSM uh, Windcat. I guess you can see him coming over there. He's doing like 26 knots coming down. He's rolling quite a bit. Yeah, really fast. England, Iceland. So we are down there in Brittany now. And we are sailing from Trigir, he's there. We tacked a little bit and then we go down to San Malo there. And uh, you can see our friends Pantala. They are just in front of us. And now we are. The race is on. Who will be the first to San Malo? There. And uh, they st they uh, close the gate into the harbor there because it's a lock into the inner harbor there. And at one and a half hour after high tide, and that is like 9:30. And so it's, we have like five hours there. So, but we should have a couple of hours uh, to our favor. Push point on 77, over. Pantala, this is push point, over. Yes, when you go through the wind farm, be looking for buoys, because they have, uh, yeah. down, downwind of the wind farm construction, there's a bunch of buoys that uh, we didn't see uh, right away. But uh, just keep an eye out, over. Okay, thank you. So, what's the color of the, the buoys? Are they green or over? Red and white. Over. Red and white. We will keep a lookout. Thank you very much for, for, for the forewarning. Over. Yeah, we are getting closer to uh, wind farm construction here. And uh, they just called us up and asked us to change our course a little bit because we are I thought we would be too close. We have a bunch of them out there and uh, one just in front of us. Yeah. And you took the call and the first guy we didn't understand at all. No. Yeah. I think he was speaking French only. You think? Maybe it was Inspector Clouseau. Uh, yes. But now our buddy boat, Pantala, called us up and said that uh, there are some buoys around here as well that we need to keep a look at. Red, yeah. red and white. Yeah, boys. 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 
In Sweden we say boy. Boy. Boy boy. So you're having a, a fika now? Yeah. I guess that is one of the things that we will miss when we leave France again. That's the croissant and the sh And you had a chocolate croissant today. The first one actually. The first one ever? No, no, no. 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 First the first one. one today? No, no, no. The first one since this time in France. Oh, because we have only been eating plain croissants, but the chocolate one is good. And there is also these ones with raisin, yeah. but I uh, haven't tried them yet. I'm not a, fa a fan of raisin. In. Yeah, that sh should be in our Lucia buns. buns. There I like them, otherwise I prefer without raisin. It's like they're lifting up a full boat, don't they? Have a look out there, it looks like a boat on stilts, they just push something down and so the depths where they are, it's like 30, 35 meters, so I guess maybe it's possible, no idea, see if we can find somebody to ask. That's probably one uh, where they build the foundation or base for the windmills uh, over there and then and the mountain there because they are building quite a few out here the wind picked up a little bit so we have like gusts uh, about 30 now and we have constant 27 and uh, we but you are all right yeah but it's a lot yeah it's quite windy now but we are like one and a half hour to go so it's just to push it and then you can have your anchor ramp to do this uh, every now and then it's a good reminder to why we don't do tacking, what do you say? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But or we do tacking but not much. Not much. We try to avoid it. Yeah. But today it's a good day because we are sailing and we're not. Yeah, and, and do it during a day and you know you will get into the marina and have a nice sleep and then... It's fun. Oops. Yeah. And, uh, but to do this for three weeks, and I don't think that's not, that's not for us. I wonder who it is for. Yeah, there is probably the people. The Glow people? Yeah, yes. they, they love this. They love it. Yeah. But we are too old for this yes. shit. <laughs> or to do as much. Yeah. yeah, we can do it. But we prefer not. Thirty knots upwind. That's for someone else. And you can see Pantala out there. They they doing good speed as well. And uh, I guess we will have uh, an anchor drum together with them when we come in. Yeah. So the ferry is called uh, Ocean Ma Majesty. Yeah. And he was honking his horn on us. To yeah. Give him some room. We needed some space. Yeah. But that's that's not a very modern design ship. No, it isn't. No. I wonder where it's from. Ocean Majesty. Huh? San Malu looks, looks really good here. Look. We are going in there somewhere. And they are turning around the old ferry there with a tugboat. Have you seen it? Yeah. Behind there, he has a tugboat. So he is going in the same lock that we will go in later, huh? 
So I guess that's why we have to wait an hour before we can go in. So we'll go and grab one on the white uh, waiting pond, uh, mooring balls then. Yes. So will you prepare that? Super. So this uh, we are waiting. The lock is in there and the big ferry, the old one that we saw before, is in there. And we are on a waiting ball, we can say, with very big lines. like there and Pantala is on the same one I guess it's big enough for both of us so we we just fend it off and waiting on the same uh, this will be interesting we, we wait until they have come a little bit more so we can come with speed we are in at, um, where are we, San Malu now, yeah. in the marina, and I can say you it was a total chaos coming in. Yeah, no organization. No, no organization, the locking was, uh, it was and, and then we come to the marina, and it was like a chaos here as well. Uh, just, uh, yeah, chaos. But we are here. We're here. The anchor drum is served, uh, served and uh, yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> and uh, the sail was uh, interesting. Yes. So lots of wind, 30 at times, good yeah. speed. I think we had a top record of 11.4 with current with us, 2.2 knots. Yeah, Oops. cheers. Yeah. No, so it was a good day on the ocean, so to say, but I don't want to do this for day in end, so whatever, but a day is good. Cheers. It is a beautiful morning here in the in St. Malo in the marina there and I have also recovered from uh, the suffering of the chaos that was inside uh, the loch not not the loch the loch yesterday and uh, where we were like pushed into the wall and we made a little mark on bush point I will show you if you can see here there you see on the corner there because it was total chaos in in, in the lock chamber and and uh, big boats small boats and 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 uh, one of the bigger boats used the CERN thruster just as we passed him and uh, we were just yeah pushed into the wall and yeah I scraped the, the corner there I guess uh, yeah it felt really bad of course but uh, I guess this happens and I'm really happy that we have them an uh, aluminum boat uh, otherwise we would have to have to do something <laughs> yeah but uh, we'll do a little walk on uh, on the wall on the around the city so this city was totally bombed flat during World War two and then they build it up again and uh, it looks pretty good yeah you can see the entrance of the of the of the wall there so it's a walled city in there so we'll and you are supposed to be able to walk the, the whole uh, city around. So that will be today's adventures. Yes. So doing the tour here, we're walking towards the walled city there. But we found out that the boat over there, you see the black one behind there. Now there comes the bus. But the one there, that is the ship that was uh, uh, in the first Pirates of the Caribbean. And I think it's called the Grand Turk, uh, the, the Big Turk or something like that. So, kind of a movie star in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Jeanette, did you hear that uh, Saint Malo as Monaco has their own flag? Oh really? Yeah. So it's up there. I guess you can see a little bit of it. Hopefully we'll find a better picture. So it's, the bottom is blue, 
and the cross is white. Yes. Do we have a flag? Yes, we have a flag. Oh, we have a flag over there. This is how it looks. The San Malu flag. Huh? San Malu, actually. San Malu. San Malu. And it's called San Malu because of the monk, and he was. He was uh, Mac uh, Ma Mahoney. No, Ma Mac Mac Malo something. I guess you can see here the difference. So this would probably be an old part, the, the bottom section, and this will be a new section. Yeah, we were really lucky. But the dollar was strong, so we paid the VAT. So yeah. Jeanette. Do, do, do you know that San Malo is where they start the route, the ROM, the sailing thing, and go to <laughs> Guadalupe in uh, oh, no, Ponte no. Pitre in no, Guadalupe. No, no, That's that. yeah, in November, every fourth year. Ah. And Guadalupe has a, a Swedish connection. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to tell you all about it? Yes. <laughs> when so we got it was owned by uh, Sweden. Or, or, or the, it came with the king, came, with the French king it that came, came with the French king that we picked up. Yeah. Yeah, we needed a General new one, with, and General. we asked the French people for a king. Yeah. So he was a general of uh, Napoleon, uh, Jean Baptiste. Yeah. Bernadotte was the first Bernadotte in Sweden, and uh, he kind of uh, owned uh, Guadeloupe. But we never had it but because so we never had it. But he got he sold it back to the French, and so he got a lot of money. And that sack of money he brought to Sweden, and then he could be king. Yeah, kind of. So you could buy. It's called the Guadeloupe um, interest. interest. They have paid yeah. interest for many, many so years. So they have uh, paid interest. Uh, they they have received interest the royal family in Sweden for many years. I think it ended in the 80s or something. And it all started in 1809, mm. kind of. They stopped and listened to the music here playing. It's so beautiful here. So we are at the end on the wall city here. You can look the beach. It's a long beach and wide. And he's actually really good at his piano. You're trying to find out. I am trying. If he's a relative of the famous Gottschalk. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not there. So, now. Jeanette, you just said this hotel is famous. Yeah, and probably for the dish. Chateaubriand. You see? It's called Chateaubriand. And uh, we have to look, I guess we have to look that up to be certain so we don't trick anyone. <laughs> false information. Yeah. And here you have Hotel de Ville, which is not the hotel of the city. No, that is the city hall. That is the city hall, but you could believe that it's a hotel. The first time I came to France, oh, they, they have always a Hotel de Ville in, in every city. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's a big hotel chain, Hotel de Ville. <laughs> So we le learn the thing. So you see, this is like an upside down oh. gun. And Nat here just told me how it all works. Well, the yes. When they were. It's, it's called the bollard. It's, yeah, the old worn out bollard cannons yes. were the long cannons that you could stick in the ground and you'd still have something tall enough to tie up to. And so. Why are they called Because that's the kind of cannon. There's different kinds of cannons. And the bollard cannons are the long cannons that have uh, a very long bore. Whoop. Here's a card. Uh-huh. And, and then that's why so we use that word today. Bollard cannons and, and put them in the ground to tie up a boat. But now anything that sticks up out of the ground and you tie up a boat is called a bollard. Yeah. And I think I believe this guy. I don't think he already made this up because he is an archaeology or archaeology or what, what is the word? If you are an archaeologist. I was an archaeologist. Archaeology, okay. Perfect. So I believe you. <laughs> <laughs>